This is the Iron Trader. It's Tuesday. Now, the API report just came out, and they were very, very bullish. I mean, crude oil and gasoline and dislith, huge draws right across the board. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a quick look here at the oil chart. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels and the API numbers will be posted. This video is for information purposes only. Not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock, commodity, ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have the crude. You have your daily and your weekly chart. Okay, so what we want to do is let's look at today's candle. Well, it was a basically an indecision candle, put in a little bit higher high. What we want to look at here is this candle right here. This is sitting at $80.94. You need to close above. Then what we can do is we look at yesterday's candle at 81.69. Okay, if that is cleared, then what we do is we look here at 82.66. Then we have here, we're looking here at the, in the uh, 83.34. And then we're looking here at the big boy. This is 84.45. That's your 200 SMA. That would be the target. Now, we also here look on a weekly. You have 84.55 and then your big 50 SMA here at 88.77. Those would be your upside targets if this 200 day is closed over. Now, on the downside, what we want to look at here is yesterday's low. That would be your gap. That's $79 flat. Then we want to look at the fill. That's 75.72. That's a nice big gap that eventually, maybe not today or tomorrow, but it's going to have to be getting filled. Now, there is uh, other support here. So we have your 21-day here at 76.81. We have this 100-day at 77.17. And then we're back down here to 75.72 is your 50-day, which would, if it does, would fill that gap. But if you look at this 8-day, see how nice this is curving up. Now you're above the 21-day. Hopefully, you'll close above the 50-day, the 100-day, and it'll push that price up, and the target will be this 84.45. Uh, so, overall, it's a very, very good bullish chart. The only thing that concerns me is this huge gap here that when is that going to get filled. But if it sells off, watch that 8 SMA here. Watch the top of that gap at 75, uh, 72 if that does fill it. And then we have all your SMAs uh, uh, underneath all of this. But on the upside, look at that 84.45. Uh, that would be the upside target. Now, tomorrow, the EIA numbers come out at 1030. I'll have all that posted uh, for you. Again, at the end of this video, you will have an uh, update here on the crude numbers. And you'll have all the API numbers here posted for you. Thanks for watching.